Hi everyone. First of all, I'm really sorry that I can't be there in person, but I hope to visit the museum soon and meet all of you. I would like to thank the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, all its staff, team members, sponsors, everyone who uh, made it possible to have this museum for children and to honor children heroes. And I am honored and feel privileged to be right next to Anne Frank, Ruby, and Ryan White. Uh, this is this is just a huge, huge honor. Uh, and I have seen some footages of how the the museum looks, how it has captured our our past life. You know, uh, my childhood, uh, our home, school, kitchen, and it just reminds me of all the beautiful times that we were spending in our hometown in Swat Valley, but also the difficult time that we had had when girls' education was banned by the Taliban in 2009 and uh, we faced terrorism for two years. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a huge honor to be part of this museum and I hope that it sends a message to children all around the world, especially in, in Indianapolis and in the US, that children can make change. They do not need to grow older to speak out for their rights and to help change the world. They can do it right now. So if there are children there, I just want to tell you that you must always believe in yourself, in your voice. Your voice matters. It must be heard. And if you have concerns, you must speak out. We know that the future generation will be facing a lot of the problems that we are facing right now in, in a, on a much bigger scale. It, it magnifies, it's, it, uh, it, it multiplies from climate change to hate crime, to gender discrimination, uh, to, to racism. So these things are going to be uh, the current challenges, but as well as future challenges. And it's important that young people continue doing their activism on this because it is going to impact their lives too, right now and in future. So I'm really proud to see that we have so many young activists around the world who believe in their voice, who are speaking out for a global level change. Uh, and they want a fairer, better, cleaner, greener society. Uh, and it is possible that we make that dream come true uh, if we all remain committed to these goals and we continue fighting for our rights, we continue fighting for a world where uh, everyone is treated equally. And my dream is to see a world where every girl can have access to safe and quality education. So I cannot wait for that day when every girl can go to school and can complete her education. Once again, I'm honored. I'm I'm thankful and I can't wait for this uh, exhibit and I can't wait to, to see it in person as well. Thank you so much to everyone who have uh, helped in this and who have worked in this.